So I'm going to show you how to make your taskbar look a little more appealing than it usually does, and this should be the final result if everything goes well. Now pulling back the super cool editing trick I did, now you see my plain old taskbar. So to start, this big Cortana search and this Cortana button, and also this task view thing, which I don't really use and I don't think anyone does, those buttons are pretty redundant. So to remove them, you need to right click on the taskbar and deselect show Cortana button, that'll make it go away and deselect show task view button. Now, how do you get rid of the search? It's pretty easy. Right click, go up to toolbars. Uh, I lied, search, go to search and go to hidden and it is gone. Now everything's kind of cleaned up, but there's a little bit more of an issue. These things on the right. So meet now, uh, which is Microsoft's stupid meet thing you can hide, but for anything else that you can't right click and hide, you can actually just drag it into this little arrow menu and it will hide it and you can keep going with that. So to remove this little uh, language selector thing, all you need to do is click on your Windows button and you need to type in turn system icons on or off or just do turn syst and press the enter key. Now it'll open up this whole entire menu that allows you to not only disable the clock, but also disable volume, network, all this other stuff. I like to keep the clock on because I like to know what time it is, but the main thing we want to disable is input indicator, which will remove the language thing and once again, if you still want to have the quick settings that you get from these two taskbar things, you can just throw it in the little menu there. It is nice and tidy for you. Moreover, you can also turn on things and turn it off to however you want. You can even turn off the action center thing. I had no idea you could do that, but now I do. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes of this whole entire video. To start off, you need to click on the link in the description and you will see two links, actually. You will see Taskbar X for the Microsoft Store, which costs $1.50, and that's what uh, you could use if you want to support the guy who made this, which I would highly recommend because it's a nice piece of software. But if you are cheap, he is extremely generous and gave us a free version that we can use. So that will be the second link in the description. And you will need to, first off, open it, scroll down, and you will see in the center, or left center, you'll see portable zip neutral. That's what you want to use. So click on that. It will open up this zip file, and all you need to do is open up the zip file. You'll see all these files, and I would recommend you making a folder on your desktop or something, putting in taskbar X, or whatever you want to name it, and dragging all of those files inside. And once that's done, close down everything. So once you extract all the files, you'll need to open up the folder, and you will see two specific application files out of the whole entire thing. And I'll show you where they are. But to start off, this is a portable app, which basically means the whole entire application is in this folder. So if you lose this folder by deleting it or something, you're deleting Taskbar X. Now, I wouldn't do that to uninstall it because you'll have a whole bunch of files that'll just mess up. There is an uninstall procedure that I'll show you at the end of the video. So now there are two specific applications that you need to look for. There's Taskbar X and there's Taskbar X Configurator. So to start off, open up Taskbar X, the application with the icon, and once you open it up, you will see that your icons get put into the center. Now you might have this weird bouncy animation, and I'll show you how to change that. And to change that, you need to go to the Taskbar X Configurator, open it up, and you will see this window here. Now, the style allows you to change how it looks in terms of background. The animation allows you to change the animations, which uh, I basically just turned them all off. There's position, which allows you to create offsets and change the resolution stuff, a whole bunch of other stuff. There's startup, which will basically make it turn on when you start up. Pretty self-explanatory. There are some extras that you can go through yourself, and there are some mechanics, which, uh, you know what? Just don't touch those, okay? So, style. To change how the background looks, you go to the Style tab, and you'll see Default, Transparent, Transparent Gradient, Opaque, Blur, and Acrylic. Now, if you hover over them, it's pretty self-explanatory what they do, but I'll just show you how to make it work. So click on Transparent, click Apply. It will reset your icons, put them back into the center, and make your taskbar transparent. I think that looks pretty nice. You can also have a color on it, so I'm going to do Opaque, click Apply, and you will see now it's solid black. And to change that, all you need to do is just change these fancy dancy colors to something you want. And once you do that, click apply and kaboom. Now you have that as a specific color. You can also do acrylic, which apparently can flicker. So if you're having any issues with acrylic, just, just use something else to be honest. I'm gonna switch it back to transparent because it looks the best. Now, once you have it looking how you want it, 
you might want to change the animation that makes it go back and forth and back and forth. And to do that, you need to go into the animation tab. Now, for some reason, my taskbar X is bugged, which might happen to you, might not. I'm going to try and restart it. And you will see that no matter what, my animations are turned off. So if you want to keep that weird animation, then try not to mess with these settings. But if you want to turn it off, all you need to do is click on animation style, scroll up to the top and click none. Do that for both of them, then click apply. And you will see now it will just go straight to it. No BS. And this is specifically helpful because when you open up an application, I'm going to open up something that is not opened already, the calculator, you will see that it just moves over and shifts to the right. You might like that, you might not. If you don't like how it teleports, go to linear. But if you want it to bounce around like a kid in a bouncy castle, then change it to whatever all these fancy ones. So click apply, you will notice that it just moves there. Very straight and simple. I close it, it moves over, it's pretty quick. And you can also change the delay if you want, or the speed, sorry. So position, now this is how you make it so that maybe you don't want it directly in the center. You might want it offset for specific reasons. There's primary taskbar, which basically does the taskbar, and there's secondary taskbar. Now you might be wondering, what is a secondary taskbar? I don't know. So moving on, there's resolution, which uh, basically allows you to do a whole bunch of crazy stuff that you probably won't even want. There's compensate tray clock, etc., which basically means keep the distance on the right and keep it equal. So if you click on that, you'll notice that it'll shift to the left a little bit. And basically what that does is it makes it so that this icon to this distance here is the same as this icon to this distance here. I think it's pretty dumb. You know, do that if you want. And if you just want the normal taskbar and you want the translucent taskbar, click that bad boy don't center taskbar button. And boom, now it's just a transparent taskbar. But I like it centered because I just like it that way. I don't have to justify myself. There's also startup which uh, basically just change the delay on things. Just leave it the way it is. And now we still have these ugly icons that we have to deal with. So to start off, the main thing you want to do is just get rid of icons you don't want anymore. In this case, I don't use the Google or the Microsoft mail app. Uh, I don't know who does if you're under 60, um, but I might use something a little more advanced. Like I want to actually keep my discord on the taskbar. So I'm going to pin it. And I'm also going to pin Streamlabs. Maybe I'm a big time streamer. And let's say I'm a big time Premiere Pro user, which I am now apparently. Click not pin to start like I did, like a stupid monkey I am. Make sure you pin it to taskbar. And you'll see that everything adjusts nicely. Now these icons, once again, we're trying to make them look nice. So let's make them look nice. All you need to do is right click on the icon that you want to change. Then right click on the application name. Then click properties. It will show up with this huge entire menu thing that's pretty complicated but all you need to do is go down to the center and you will see oh not up oh, up oh, there we go change icon click on that bad boy and you'll see all these stupid little icon files thing here i'm going to click browse then i'm going to go to my desktop where i have the icons you might need to navigate to your downloads folder or something click on nord icons click on windows and now pick an icon that you want now i did premiere so i'm going to see if there's premiere and it looks like there's not because I actually can't spell and it's right in front of my face, Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm gonna click on that, click open, click okay, and click apply. So once you change the icon, you'll notice that nothing changed on your taskbar. And that's because we need to actually restart our taskbar. So to do that, press control, shift, and escape. And you will see task manager pop up. Now, if you've never used task manager before, it'll look like this. You just need to open it up where it says more details. Now, to make Windows Explorer show up, the best thing to do is just open up your Windows File Explorer. Once you see Windows Explorer, click on it and click Restart. And once it restarts, you'll notice that all your icons have changed. Now, the keen eye among you might have noticed that my Microsoft Store icon did not get themed. And unfortunately, that's because Microsoft Store is a huge pain in the butt. And if you try right-clicking it, you will see that you don't have any properties things to go to. Now, I've tried a little bit of searching around. And to be honest, I haven't found anything that, you know, is a quick and nice and easy fix to make it look nice and beautiful. The best way to remove the ugly icon from your beautiful taskbar is actually right-clicking it and unpinning it. Just remove the problem entirely. I run away from my problems, and so should you. Now, if we need to run away from Taskbar X, it's actually really easy. 
first off, you need to smash your head against the desk because an ambulance went by, but uh, 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 just open up Taskbar X folder and go back to the configurator, double click on that bad boy, and you will see Taskbar X configurator. Go to uninstall, click uninstall, press yes. And it'll say ready for removal, the task schedule, blah, 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 blah. So press okay. And it will open up the actual folder. So it makes it really easy to just go like this, select all the files and press that big fat delete key on your keyboard. And once that's done, that's it. That's actually it. Now you will still have these icons looking how they do. And the easiest way to fix them is to just unpin them every single so that was pretty ironic because instead of unpinning an item from a taskbar, I actually closed the application. So make sure to save things before you do that. But once you unpin everything, all you need to do is go back to your start menu and look for any of the applications that you want on your taskbar. And all you need to do is right click them, then do more, pin to taskbar. And if it's in this little list thing, you just need to right click it, more, pin to taskbar, and the icons will be restored back to normal. Now you might want File Explorer back and the quickest way to find this is scroll all the way down, then go to Windows System, expand it, and you'll see File Explorer, go to More, then Pin to Taskbar. And all your icons are back to normal and everything's back to normal. Gosh, who doesn't love normal? Now, a normal thing for me to say would be uh, have a great night and I love you very much, but I'm gonna change it up. Have a good morning and have a fantastic day.